update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update, and currently we have a bit of a mixed bag out here. You've got the semis off eight, uh, seven points. The uh, Sox, uh, uh, 10 points, I should say. Russell's off seven. Uh, otherwise, you've got the other indices trading the upside. Dow's up 155 points, about a half a percent. Four tenths of a percent for the S&P. That's 16 points. The NASDAQ, really less than one tenth of a percent, 11 points. Gold is off a uh, buck fifty. Silver's down twenty three cents. Light sweet crude is on fire, up four eighty eight. One oh seven twenty seven is the print there. Natural gas up another forty four pennies, trading out eight thirty nine. Thirty year Treasury down twenty ticks, one thirty nine twelve. Don't expect during this hour for things to get much out of hand out here as we await the uh, two o'clock Fed announcement and then the two thirty um, question and answer uh, period out there. So uh, you know we'll, what we'll do. Uh, during the Trader's Ed show, if you do listen in, we will uh, try to figure out if we can find any tells inside of the market. But for right now, let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. If we look at the ES Mini right now, trading up into resistance. Resistance here is the bottom of its weekly profile. It's inside the daily profile, but it needs to close about 4189 Call it 4190. We're trading right now at 4189 in order to get above that level. Now, chance for that to occur with the spot volatility pulling back, perhaps targeting the 50 day exponential moving average, which is at 2574. If we look at the NQ out here, it is back above its daily profile. Its next level of resistance is 13,250. The US dollar index has got a TD9 count top. It's led to a sideways move out here. Uh, gold is trading below the bottom of its weekly profile. Not necessarily a great uh, site going into a, a Fed announcement. Um, so we'll see. You've got silver that did bottom. It bottomed at its uh, breakout level. It formed another TD nine count pattern. And as long as price remains above 22.20, all is good there. you got light sweet crude, which is consolidating between trend line support and trend line resistance. You've got natural gas. It is now trading above its sell the D point pattern. That sell the D point pattern occurred on April 18th. That set up the resistance at $8.19. You close above that, it's up, up, and away. And the 30 year Treasury, it's actually got two bottom signals. It has a buy the D point, and yesterday it actually confirmed a Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom. That suggests, though, that price should make its way to 142.01. But you close below 138.14 today, it's heading to the downside. That's the level of support. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're off to start your day, have a fantastic one. Thanks again for joining us. We'll see you again soon.